Hi everyone, you're sailing on Olive's Ark. I'm Taylor, this is Olive, and today we're gonna to be talking about Blue Tongue Skink Enrichment. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to keep your Blue Tongue Skink entertained, and let's just start with the obvious. Look at my shirt. Okay, so um, I ordered new merchandise. I told you that on all of his birthday video, and I said that it was coming in and it shipped and it got here. And guys, I'm so impressed. And I thought, you know, why not wear the Blue Tongue Skink sweatshirt um, for the Blue Tongue Skink video? All designs come in multiple shirt styles, so you can get this in a t shirt, a tank top, you can get it on a sticker, on sweatpants whatever you want in pretty much any color. So go ahead and browse. I'll put the link on the bottom for our store, but it is amazing. And I do have another design I wanna show you that came in and I'm not wearing it cause I can't wear two shirts at once, but I have the uh, pocket logo style. So this is just the Olive's Arc logo as a pocket. And then on the back, it is the full logo. So I love the back front design, wear it out. I don't know, they're, they're just super cool. Cause I, like, there's not a lot of stuff with a blue tongue skink on it. I mean, come on. So now that our commercial break is over, let's go ahead and talk about how to entertain your blue tongue skink. Blue tongue skinks are super intelligent and one of the things that you have to kind of keep in mind is to keep them entertained. And I've got this massive four foot cage that I keep my blue tongue in and honestly some days I look at it and I'm like, man, I wish I could double that space for you because blue tongues, they really utilize their space. So this is Hades. Hades has never been up close on camera before uh, because up until now, He's kind of been brumating and hiding, and so this is the first day you're gonna actually get to see Hades out and about. And come on, guys. How could you not want this, first of all? The number one way to probably provide some enrichment is just taking your blue tongue out. The more you handle it, um, this is entertaining enough as it is. Uh, you could take it out. What I like to do also is sometimes I'll set up a little playpen, indoors or outdoors, and let my skink just kind of roam the playpen in a new area. Um, just make sure wherever you put it, you kind of block off all crevices. Like, do not put a playpen or uh, put your skink free roam in your kitchen because it will go under your refrigerator and you won't be able to get it back until it wants to come out. If you do put it outside, just be aware that it is secure and that also you're there watching it so that there's no other animals that might potentially harm your skink. So and just that little bit of holding that I did has kind of stimulated him to kind of roam around and just being in front of the cage here and talking is also entertaining. Um, I keep my blue tongue in my family room so he gets a lot of stimulation just by being in the room where people kind of hang out and he does very well in here and he, he loves when people come over, he likes to watch them. Um, he kind of watches what the dogs do, but if you keep your blue tongue in a secluded area, maybe you want to do some things that you could leave with him to entertain him. Number one, uh, most obvious, change out your decor. So as nice as this looks, I do like to switch out some key pieces now and again. For example, this little log hide, I will actually switch out for this just giant plastic tube. Um, it's just a little elbow piece of plastic piping. Um, this was maybe $5, so it's very cheap and you can get multiple pieces and connect them if you want, make like tunnel system. And it's not only the shape, but the texture, the smell, it's all different and this, just swapping things out, provides interest. This is your enrichment. And you could also do enrichment in other ways by swapping out other more naturalistic pieces. And I actually just picked this up, but I'm very excited about it. And it's this big naughty piece of grapevine. Again, new textures, new smells, new shapes. Um, it also just helps with shedding because it is a rougher texture. So when it's when he is in shed, he can rub up against this and flake off those skin um, flakes. But well, number one way of enrichment, just get decor and swap it out. It doesn't, and you don't have to have a lot. Two pieces is enough, just rotate one in and out. The second way you can provide enrichment. So it is known that you are able to feed your blue tongue skink dog food, and many people do, or you can mix up your own kind of uh, mixture of, of greens and meats and things like that. But consider what you're feeding and how often you're feeding it. If you feed your blue tongue crickets all of the time, maybe feed a different insect. And so what I like to do is I rotate, basically every time I feed um, Hades, it's something different. The dog food is the underlying staple, but I will change out what the topping is. So one time it will be 
much, much more veggies. I'll give a little fruit treat here and there throughout the week. Some cool things insect-wise to switch out because insects are a stimulant in themselves. I like to switch between lives insects all the time. So crickets are my favorite because crickets are very active. They're jumpy and they run. And so I'll just dump a little handful of crickets into here and Hades will actually hunt those throughout the week. A new cool one that I just tried is, is snails. So I know this is uh, something some people can be hesitant on. They do sell these online. You can have them shipped to your door. I don't really like snails that much and I was afraid I would open this and they would just be like whole dead snails. But um, if you look, and warning if you don't want to see this, this is what it looks like inside. It just looks like chopped up pieces of meat. So it does not actually look like snails at all. It is snails, but you can't really tell. And so now that I've opened this and used it, I love this um, a lot because skinks love snails. If you have a picky skink or you don't know how to mix it up and you've tried everything, try snails. Get these online. It's just the can of snails from Zoomed. Speaking of food and enrichment, uh, there is a specific dog toy that I found really, really useful with entertaining your skink, and it is this. So this is a holy roller. I did show this in my um, tripod dog video, but you could use this for your skink as well. And so I really like this because it's small enough for him, so you could see the size wise. It's, it's pretty small. This is for like tiny puppy chihuahuas, but there's holes in it. And what I do is I take dried dog food or you could even um, put like little veggies, like little bell pepper or, or apple in there and you just stick them in the holes and it just makes it difficult to get out and I just prop this in here and he does roll this around and he'll continue to roll it and play with it until the food drops out and then he gets a little snack. So he does use this, a skink will use this. Another thing you could leave in the cage for enrichment if you're not able to take your skink out or, or whatever reason is this sounds really weird but I did this a lot in the beginning because if you also have a new skink and you're trying to get it used to you this is a huge help. So what I do is I take a sock that I have worn and I just toss it into the enclosure. So the key here is that you have more in the sock and the reason, you could put whatever clothing item you want in there, but I do like the sock because they're small. Um, so I take a sock I've worn, I just kind of roll it up, and I just throw it in there. As you walk around, your feet pick up smells. It's not essentially that your feet themselves smell, it's just that as you walk around, you're picking up smells from your house, uh, from, you know, putting your shoe on and off. It's a snail. So polite. And the last way you can provide enrichment for your skink is to give it a whole egg and just like break a little bit of it open so it can smell the yolk. Uh, you can do this with a chicken egg. Quail eggs are kind of even better because they're smaller, more suitable for a reptile. But just take a chicken egg and they kind of have to break the shell and push it around and chew on it to really get the yolk out. They can eat it raw. And again, it's not always about just feeding them to entertain them. You don't want a fat skink, but when you do feed, Choose wisely, put it in the little roller ball, use the egg, use live food and just leave it in there. Don't assist them in any way. Try not to just feed them in a bowl. Um, like I said, the more you mix it up, the harder you make them work for your food, the better. Uh, it just, that's what entertains them. And then in between here and there throughout the week, switch out decor, change the layout, put in a sock, bring them out and hold them, put them in a playpen if you don't have time to physically hold them, stimulate their brain because you'll actually have a happier, healthier, more involved skink over time. And again, if you don't have a skink, super cool, get one. And if you do have a skink, rep them and buy a skink shirt. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching. It's been great. I post videos every Friday, so if you like these kinds of things, subscribe. And if you like this video in particular, give it a like or a comment, and I will see you in a week.